All right, hello and welcome, fellow users of the internet. My name is Noah, and you're watching Asphodel Merchants. All right, so first of all, great news. Don't know if you guys saw or heard me talk about it in another video, but I won a couple of store championships over the weekend. It was a really good time, and hopefully these will keep me in the black for the rest of the month on top of other stuff. But okay, but on top of all of that, oh yeah, and don't freak out about the painter's tape on the top loaders. It won't leave any residue. And, uh, but it'll keep the cards securely inside the top loader during shipping. A little uh, pro tip for any of you eBay hopeful billionaires out there. But alright, I got me some March of the Machine set booster boxes. And uh, I was thinking about not opening them because the prices went up a little bit. But, with that being said, I need to find me some Invasions of Gobicon and Night Errants of Aos. For the deck I want to take to Dallas. So let's just get started. Okay, are these Japanese edition? They are. So they've got the pull tab, which never pulled down far enough. So let's just see how fast I can get through one of these. If fast at all is the word. Alright, we got our incubator token. Jareem, Master of the Review. Let me change the focus of the camera a little. Where am I? I look good. I like that. Jareem. Boombringer Valkyrie, really cool uh, card. Alright, we got our Battle, Invasion, Aether Blade, Storm Claw, Hero, the bunch of Uncommon. Okay. Alright, an art card. Hit it to go. Okay, you know what? You guys don't care about art cards, neither do I. No one does. We're not even going to look at them. Alright, we got Streetwise Negotiator. It's a cool foil. Okay, you know what? We're going to take this and be happy about it. It's the uh, Invasion of Ikoria. Uh, go to little X battle. Search your library for creature card X or less. Put it on the battlefield. The new hotness is that with a uh, Death Shadow. Right, and it's this on the back, and it's a cool 12 bucks. All right, we've got Yardle of probably not worth much. And... Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger, in our Multiverse Legend slot. It's, it's basically a free mythic. You know, we'll take it. Marshall, got some cards, we got some bulk. Now it seems like uh, the closer a video is to 10 minutes, the more popular it is. People really don't want to be putting all that much time in there. We got a 3 1 Trample Haste token, we got a Foil Temporal Cleansing, pretty cool. Chrome Host Seed Shark, pretty neat card. Hey, another mythic. Yarok the Desecrated, I think it's like a dollar, but it's still cool. Uh, we got a commander card, it's worthless. Put that over there, I don't, even want, I don't even want to know I have that. Ooh, we got the real goo. It's the Invasion of a Monquette. This is like the best card in the limited format. I love it a ton. Every time I've cast it, it's been so cool. No one's Inquisitor Battle Fan. Okay. That's at least a cool art card. That's the Ragavan art card. I might actually uh, I'm gonna keep that somewhere. All right, we've got uh, our oh, it's the list card. It's the list. It's a it's commander uncommon. It's worthless. Scroll Battle of Fiora. Okay, that might have been the. The Invasion of Monkette might have been the best uncommon, but this might be the second best rare after Sunfall. It's Marchesa on the back. Had this card in a, one of my winning draft decks at my store championship. It was pretty cool. We got Umori. All of the uh, Multiverse Legend companions are pretty cool. Moment. Okay. Uh, okay. okay, maybe some of these art cards are kind of cool. It's the Atrax art card. I just sold my foil, hollow foil attracts up from another video today. Pretty excited about that. Okay, our Garvian Restoration Return to Artifact Card of Graveyard Battlefield. List slot card. It's worthless. Uh, Zergo and Urgitai. It is a mythic, but it is in fact worthless. Also, this might seal Billy Reiner. Turn burn. Uh, 
Jiru and Hazaret. Emudi. Man, I hate this stupid Ryav Master Smith. Every time I see that border, I think, oh boy, we finally got a Ragavan. And it doesn't come to pass. Alright, six packs in, 24 left. I think. Sounds about right. Okay, Vanquish the Wheat. Glistening Dawn for a rare, not the greatest. Um, Emoti for our Multiverse Legend. Oh, right, and I forgot. I actually cared about the full art basics in this. But, uh, filter all those out later whenever I go through the bolt. Alright, hey, foil? Mythic for the box, Jenga Taxius. It's a good old foil mythic, and we. Oh my gosh, this pack is awesome. And the great synthesis on the back. That should be a cool 10 ish dollars. But here's another real goo. We got Fairy Mastermind. Nature is healing, folks. We got regular rares floating around like $10. This is all, oh, man. Oh, baby. And we got Giganta the Wellspring for our companion. She's not worth very much, but she's certainly cool. All right, let's. Uh, Lithmith Garage. Good uh, sideboard card. Grab a sleeve for a little mythic right fast. I can fumble through here like the orangutan I am. Phyrexian Altar? Is this still expensive? Phyrexian Altar the list. Okay, it's Holly. Primal Conqueror, sweet card. Uh, might be needing to keep this for standard. We got Itali the Primal Sickness on the back, but you never really do that. You're always just looking to get your two, your, uh, you know, nice little three for one there. Xerix, Aetherblade, Storm Chaser, Foil Swamp, Foil Swamp, Shielded Art. You know what? And I'm sorry, guys, I forgot. I didn't open. The list, look or whatever, on TCG player, so I can't figure out what that costs. Saram, Terror of Tawashi. Uh, yeah, wait. Incubator token, foil, complete the circuit of worthless. Saram Senior Artificer, not very expensive, but it's a cool card anyway. Uh, Terror of Tawashi, it's a jumpstart rare, it's not really worth anything. Getting all the Predator art cards. We got another list card. Sea Hunter. Search your library for a remote card. Vote card. Put it on play. Then shuffle your library. That's cool, at least. We've got uh, Goreclaw. Tear of Qual Sema. Foil etched. Bet that isn't worth very much, but at least it's cool. The Invasion of Kaldheim. Another cool card. Exile your hand. Draw the mini cards. And uh, Pyre of the World Tree on the back. And your Rune Eyes. I did not open any of these to know if there's anything like. Any special rare hiding spots? Ooh, it's a cool mirror token. Delphiron Lancer, Koglan Yudaro, Fire Song. Uh, double rare pack of not worth very much. Alright, we got a treasure. We've got our foil invasion of Asgol. It's a cool looking card. Good looking modern foil. Go on our scam deck. Ashen Reaper. Uh, Heliod the Radiant Dawn. It's a uh, Heliod the Warped Eclipse on the back. Another Asgol. Cut short art card. We had to really dismantle that pretty good to get it open. Simile Essence. Inga and Essica. Then the Fang Bear. I hate you, Commander cards. Please, Wizards. Please, uh, 
please stop putting commander cards and not commander products. If I wanted the new commander cards, would I not buy the commander deck? It was a good system. The commander players weren't happy with it, but they're not happy with anything. Flying Spirit. Uh, City on Fire. Hopefully that's a nice little three-ish buck rare still. Agar. Invasion of Dominaria. Captive Weird. But no, seriously. Hate the commander cards and non-commander products. I mean, that made buying the silly commander decks worth anything. Like, so what if you had to buy a whole commander deck just to get one card for Legacy? Like, Legacy's not even in real format now. I'm tilting off a lot of people talking about all this stuff, but I really don't care. I hate the, uh, hate the commander cards in the pack so much. Right, C double jury, dismal backwater. At least it's a two foil pack. Jury. Probably, you got my foil piles messed up. Don't matter. Actual Wizards and Poloies can't even keep their rare piles together. How much? Brandon Realm Breaker Emblem. I have no idea if that's expensive. Another foil rare, Helia of the Radiant Dawn. Invasion of Theros. Womp womp. Uh, um, begin the invasion, search your library, X battle cards with different names, put them on the battlefield, then shuffle. I'm sure that's a cool no money. Ooh, we got another four large swamp, though. That's the real prize. Yes, full art lands over poopy commander rares. It's just that easy, folks. Hey, Laboratory Maniac, I thought this was the absolute coolest card ever when I was a little high schooler trying to figure out how to play magic cards. Laboratory Maniac, let's slide over here. We got Drug Recycler. Okay, that's good. We've got a Chandra Hope's Beacon. Pretty neat card. Pretty poggers. Alright, and we've got Obosh the Prey Piercer for our Multiverse Legend. He's certainly very cool. Phyrexian Altar. I'm, I'm pretty sure if memory serves correctly, Phyrexian Altar's value got absolutely destroyed by its reprint in uh, the Brothers War. Alright, we got another Jenga Taxi. Yeah, pretty, pretty relevant. Still pretty relevant. Five bucks. Uh, Broodclad Telcor Engineer. Probably not worth anything. Then the rares. We got Artistic Refusal. Full Art Forest. Moving right along. Alright, 13 minutes, man. There's just so much stuff to manage. Thopter token. F foil invasion to nuke Penna. Baral and Karizev. Love having a new way to make a Ragavan. Wrath, Weather Light, Stalwart. For the Uncommon and for the Nothing Else Mountain. We got a Arc for her that no one cares about. We got feels like nine packs left. Right, let's get some hits. Alright, we got Incubator. Oh, it's the Invasion of Innistrad. We are burning up our mythic slots in all the wrong ways. It's like two bucks. Dina. Let's get our Baron. Oh, Yavamawa Barbarian. 2-2 two, two, protection from blue. That's a... Uh, I'm sure that's the hot, spicy reprint everybody's always been wanting. God, the list slot is so freaking underutilized. I mean, it could be cool, except it isn't. Uh, Foil Hello Forager, that's really neat. Quintorius, mm, Quintorius Lore Master. Too bad it's unplayable in every format. Render Inert. It's cool. Yeah. 
like this uncommon voice word in that rare don't at me or do at me actually tell me how wrong I am about everything in the comments say anything I'll enjoy any of it oh my gosh we got another list slot card um, Gaia's Revenge can't be countered haste comes the target of a non-screen belt can't be the target of non-green spells or abilities from non-green sources okay list slot rare Okay, uh, you know, it's not the worst. Triple Jenga Taxius. This triple Jenga Taxius box. Alright, six packs left. Let's finish strong. Let's keep going. Keep our endurance up. Alright, Foil, Ayara, Widow of the Realm. Alright, Ayara, Furnace Queen. Not the coolest rare. Hirobi. Vivian's talent, man, four rares and none of them are worth anything. Hell yeah, brother. All right, ooh, Phyrexian Hydra token. We'd love to see more of those. Foil the truck's fault. Yargle and Multani. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Uh, Lutri Spell Chaser. Love having more access to companions. Alright, Fairground Trumpeter is a jumpstart card. Hey, Tribute to the World Tree. That's a cool couple bucks. Uh, you do our Grave Gardener, Worthless, Invasion of Zendikar, pretty cool card, pretty cool card. Alright, Zalfiran Void for the, uh, list. It's just what I always needed, is more, uh, regular Dominaria Uncommons, Icker Drinker. Graft Butcher for the rare. Riv Maya. Inv Another Invasion of Zendikar, at least. Alright. Two more packs. Uh, this box feeling pretty mid. Pretty mid AF. Not gonna lie. But, uh, that's okay. Definitely opened some cool cards. It did get plenty of money cards. The Triple Jenga Taxius is pretty cool. Maybe there's some value left in some of those list slot cards that I don't know about. Brawl cards of. Daxos, uh, Saint, worthless commander rare. It's definitely worthless. I know I've opened plenty of them. Always look, always disappointed. Hey, an Ozzel at the Shattered Spire. That's a cool little five more bucks. Right, and a Karuga the Macro Sage. Essence of Orthodoxy for a jumpstart rare. Um actually, you know what? That just goes in the regular pile. Hey, another. This is why we really do it, folks. The foil swamps. Ah, smells right. Smells right. Okay, um, yeah. Box pretty mid you know, well, it started out really strong and then it started to peter off towards the middle, and we then still got some some more of our mid-tier cards. Uh be looking at up through be looking things up figuring them out okay that's a 19 minute mark nobody wants to watch a video this long nobody's worried about anything anyway like comment subscribe you know the things push all the buttons you know what youtubers want uh share the content if you can and just thank you everybody for spending your time with me again i really do appreciate it goodbye